participation, how much of an impact does that have on our, on our continual bids to be an Olympic sport, which will completely change the game? International participation is really the key metric there. So the, lacrosse is known primarily as a Canadian, a North American sport, Canadian, United States. How we grow is less important to the Olympic effort than how the sport grows internationally. Hmm. And so, you know, one of the key considerations of the IOC is how many nations play, how geographically diverse uh, is international play, and how competitive is international play. And so the, the Federation of International Lacrosse, which I serve as the vice president of the board of, has close to 60 members now. Uh, we're on six continents, um, and that is a huge, uh, has been a transformational effort by the leadership of our development committees at the FIL, but we're still certainly not a mass participation sport relative to the international right. sport. And so, uh, to answer your question, the FIL did submit uh, an application to the IOC back in August for provisional recognition. As you can imagine, it's a pretty time-consuming effort to complete that application. Recently, some of you may have noticed that uh, they announced three new sports that, uh, for provisional status. Lacrosse was not one of them. Uh, we weren't told no. Our application just hasn't been fully vetted. Mm -hmm. If it's negative, what's the reapplication like? Based on the pluses and min minuses of that, we'll be able to project, based on the input we receive, where we are in the pecking order, what that timetable may look like, and you know how far we have to go. It, you know what doesn't work against us is um, almost 60 nations is fantastic, but it it's dwarfed by many other sports. Right. That's number one. Number two is that the IOC is a billion dollar enterprise, hmm. and one of the things they look at is how can they monetize a new sport that they not only recognize, but consider for inclusion in the program. Hmm. That's a big issue. Number three is team sports, and certainly team sports that take two and a half hours to play are more challenging to add to the Olympic program. That goes back to the potential of innovation. We're talking about innovating and right-sizing our sport for domestic development. There's a real opportunity to reimagine what a more widespread Olympic program uh, could look like, version of lacrosse could look like. Yeah. Maybe it's not the traditional field that takes, it's on the men's side is 20 players and takes two and a half hours. Maybe it's not, maybe it's the indoor game. Maybe it's a hybrid small-sided component mm. that takes 40 minutes to play. Mm -hmm. So I think we're gonna have to be all eyes and ears when we hear and listen to the uh, IOC's uh, feedback on our application and we're gonna just like I think we have to do domestically, we're gonna to have to be able to embrace the potential of innovation in order to scale the game internationally. Yeah.